Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do Magi the Labyrinth of Magic episode 20 review. Now, first of all, before I get started, uh, Sony Music, you guys, actually, no, no, wait, no. Before I even do that, all right? As you can see behind me, the poster did not come yet. And I'm kind of, I'm a little bit upset, I am, because I really want to have that poster because it looked nice, it's a big poster, and I wanted to do the unboxing either today or, or like yesterday. I, I actually, I really wanted to be yesterday, but it didn't come yesterday, clearly. And today, I was, I was hoping it'll, it'll, it'll come today too, but it's not come today either. And I've been trying to check with like UPS about you know the shipping, but for some reason I can't track the package. I don't know fucking why. I have no idea why, but I can't track the package whatsoever. So, probably today I'm going to wind up calling UPS and, you know, if they have a number, I'm going to call them. Oh, yeah, like, I'll look. They'll probably have a number. I'll call them. I'll see, like, what's going on with my fucking Moggy poster. Because, like, this shit should have been here. Like, it, like, this shit should have been here. So, I mean, I don't know. Either maybe you come, like, I don't want it to come next week. Because if it's next week, that, that's some bullshit. That's some fucking bullshit. But, um, because it said three to five days, and that was, like, six days ago. Like, 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 legit. I mean, exclude Sunday, and that's five days ago, about. So, it's not here, unfortunately. So, hopefully, hopefully, by next week's Moggy episode, the poster will be here. So, then I, I can do the unboxing. I can do the shout-outs for those of you guys who sent me the links and all that stuff. But... I apologize for the wait. UPS, you guys are assholes. All right, now that being said, Sony Music, you guys do not own anything that that pertains to this video. The thumbnail is, is an original photo, which does not belong to you. The visuals are me. You do not own me. And the audio is me speaking over a homemade soundtrack. This video follows the rules and regulations that are set by YouTube. Now, that being said, this week's MAG episode uh, Ren Hakuryu. I'm not saying that he's a bad character. He's not. But his voice actor... I, I don't think his voice actor fits the role. I mean, I don't know. Because like, 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 last week I didn't notice it that much at all. Because last week was kind of, you know, weird. With the whole entire Sinbad. Maybe, like, you know, raping Ren Kyogoku. But... At this episode, I'm hearing Ren Hakuryu, and it, it, it's kind of like he's almost awkward. Like seriously, like like I, I don't know. Like it, it, is it is it just me? Like he feels he feels very awkward, and I don't know what to do about it. Watching, well, I can't do anything about it. I, I can't because I'm not, you know, I'm not the Japanese voice actor of Ren Hakuryu. I'm not. But so far, his character is lackluster. At least, at least that, that's what I feel, you know? Like, right now, all we know about him is that he wants to he wants power to help destroy the Kyo Empire. I mean, yeah, yeah, the yeah, the, the Ko Empire. And also, how he doesn't want to use Judah's power in order to, you know, in order to go to dungeons and acquire Jit. He wants to do by his own means. But that's it. Like, that's truly it for Ren Hakuryu. It's like this guy... And no, no, he, he gets no lotion, obviously, all right? But it's just like, I need to see more. Because right now, his character is lackluster. So that's number one, all right? Number two is that we found something out that I thought was very intriguing. Like, amongst all the things that I found intriguing about this week's episode of Magi was particularly this. After Sinbad got cursed, like, you know, after the whole, the whole entire scene, which I'll talk about later, about, you know, when... uh the mark on Alibaba's shoulder starts to, like, spread really quickly because he sees Ren Hakuryu. And then he kind of gets, like, ill, semi-ill. And then when Sinbad walks in, like, you know, you know like, what's wrong? The wound, the, wound, the wound, like, explodes. And then we see that guy who was there in Balbat, the one who was controlling uh, Kashim and the Dark Rook. And, I mean, from what I gather, he's a magician, you know, just like, because, uh, you know, only Magi can utilize magic magic to such a high degree. 
but mages can, but to you know, like immediate degree, you know, like because Maggie, because they have they have unlimited root, so it's like okay, or at least unlimited usage of root. But the thing here is that this mage, I guess he like infused an image of himself, maybe his soul in a way, into Alibaba, and then when he saw Sinbad, he just, you know he came out of nowhere, was talking about all this stuff. Sinbad cut him, and then the blood guy on Sinbad he got cursed. Now the thing here is that. Sinbad talked about how later on he talked about how like there could be a way to remove the curse about going to the uh, the uh, Tauron or the Toron people on this southern island and there is a dungeon there Zagon and how the Jin there and Zagon is known for place of healing any injuries or illnesses and how the Jin and how the Jin there could be effective in removing this curse and he explains how he can't go there because he already has seven Jin. And apparently, when he got his seventh gin, his seventh gin, this gin said, "That's enough for you." So, according, so so any person that it has a household vassal of a household vassal of Sinba, and Sinba himself cannot enter any more dungeons. And then Jafar explains how there may be a set number of. Of of gin and mantle items one can attain. So that's very intriguing, you know. Like that's very interesting. It really is. Or it really is. So you know, I mean, he is the high king of the seven seas with seven gin, but that's it. Like he he has to stop there. So he he so he he, he, he so he can't get any more. All right, I, I stutter. I don't give a fuck. No takes. No 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 fucking takes. All right. So, so like that's cool. That's, that's, that's really interesting. That's really interesting. I like it a lot. I mean, the next gym, I mean, like the next place that they have to go into, it appears that apparently Ren Hakuryu, he has no gym. Apparently. Which kind of threw me off because when you look at the ending, it's like he had he clearly has a gym in the ending. But I guess not. I guess this is gonna be I, I guess this is gonna be the gym that he's going to attain. And that's cool. Like, see, like that's really cool. I, I I liked it a lot. Like in my opinion, that was the most intriguing and best part about the entire episode. I mean, the stuff beforehand where we see talking between. I mean, Morgiana, she she they actually uh they revamped her chains, and now it's like a sketched out carving of like a firebird god that is a deity from like you know like the dark continent. The guys who like the Final East and other tribes in the Dark Continent. Like, this is their god of fire, this firebird. But Morgiana has no idea what the fuck she's doing with her chains yet. She, she has no idea. <laughs> she has no idea. She has none. Clearly, at some point, Amon is going to have to in imbue some of, his, some of his will onto these chains because she is a household member of Alibaba. So at some point, she... At some point, Amon is... Either there's some kind of qualification that she has to go through in order for Amon to actually infuse his will upon the chains, or Alibaba himself has to uh, ha has to bestow it upon Morgiana. We don't know yet because Sinbad wasn't specific enough about how to take the powers of the Jin and imbue it onto the metal item. So we don't know. We we just don't know yet. We don't know yet. But we'll find out at some point, cause yeah, at some point, I'm pretty sure that at some point they will do like a, you know, metal imbuing of Amon into the chain. So, but we'll see where that goes. And now we, I mean, so what happens after all that stuff is that they actually go to, uh, you know, Zagan and uh, Peasty. The girl who's from the same country as that one dragon dude, she's there too. Apparently, she's way older than Alibaba. Well, not way older, but she's older than Alibaba. And that kind of threw me off because I'm like, she's like a little girl. And, of course, you know, we have Aladdin who has to check, you know. He has to, you know, follow the titties to make sure. And he's like, miss? So, and, and you know, that was funny. But overall, I felt that that scene was kind of, you know, I felt that the entire thing was rush, in my personal opinion. And when we finally get there to the Tauron or the Tauron, you know, islands, the, if you want to call it in an archipelago, 
there's these two motherfuckers, and then they're clearly dark mages. Right? And the reason why I'm saying that is because because Ali Lava, Aladdin, he bumped into bumped into a, a green haired girl, and and behind the green haired girl was like this guy, like this emo-ish, you know, dark haired, pale vampire dude. And they're 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 clearly dark mages because we see in the opening that they're the same characters that were underneath the other guy from Baba. The other dark mage. So it looks like Al Thamen have are making their move in this country right now. These are this archipelago. So what's gonna happen? Well, we don't know. But right now it doesn't really matter because well actually no. Because we, they may well run into them inside the actual dungeon. Because it looks like because according to the ending, like after the credits, like the preview of next week's episode of Magi, it, it appears that they already meet the gym. And I've been told several times that the dungeons in the manga are a lot, like their pacing is, a, they're, they're not rushed pace, like they're much slower paced, they're much more dangerous in their, in their uh, image, like there's a lot more, you know, crazy creatures there. And it appears that in next in next week's episode of Magi, we're gonna go through the dungeon, kind of like in a fast-paced manner, because we see like the Jin's face already in the freaking preview. So, whatever, I'll I'll take it as it is. I, I will I will, cause you know I'm gonna wind up reading the manga anyway after the season's over. And that's pretty much it. So the rain for this episode, I'll give it okay plus. After all that, yeah, I'll, I'll give it okay plus. All right, wasn't the greatest episode of Magi. There were a few intriguing things about this here and there. There, there really were. I mean, Sinbad did state that they would be safer in the dungeon now that Altaimon's targeting them. But the thing is that you know, once again, like the thing, the main thing is the fact that for me personally, like this Zuko 2.0, Ren Hakuryu. So far, he's in. Eh. So far, he's really in. Eh. And I mean, you guys who, who read the manga, I'm pretty sure that you guys know a lot more than I do, obviously. I'll get there at some point. But right now, he's really in. Eh. The whole entire thing about the limitation of, of Jin one can attain in their lifetime is very intriguing. I, I like that a lot. I do. And the rest of the episode was pretty much mm, the pacing at the end kind of got a little bit too fast, in my personal opinion. And it looks like Althaemon are now making a move on this, on the archipelago of Tora. But yeah, I'm done. So King of Lightning, okay plus. Be sure, of course, rate. And by the way, if you guys have noticed, yeah, my cold is gone. God, thank you. I'm not in the bathroom spitting out mucus, Luke. He's like, <laughs> I'm like no, I'm not doing that shit every goddamn morning. No, I'm actually good. All right, I'm, I'm. I'm smooth, and the reason why is because, you know, vitamin C, bitches, vitamin C, mmm, it's great, nigga, alright, I'm done, peace, have a nice day, and then the poster should come soon, if not, I'm gonna go to UPS headquarters and be like, yo, where the fuck is my Moggy poster?